Zach with Wingard Wearables. You are a very special person. You're one of 12 people that's going to be watching this video. Uh, I think we, our channel on YouTube has maybe 98 followers, um, and we just so long neglected it. And this video is going to be so long. I'm kidding, it's gonna be under five minutes. But um, yeah, you're probably gonna be one of 12 people to watch this, so uh, treasure that. You're a very special person. Uh, and today, we're talking about axes for everyday carry. Uh, look at this beautiful axe. I wish you guys could smell this. It doesn't just look good and feel good in the hands. It actually smells amazing. Um, yes, our products actually smell good. All right. So uh, I'm with uh, Wingard Wearables. I'm Zach Wingard. Uh, we make novel concealed carry uh, products, and we started with concealed carry tomahawks. Um, and the first question people have is, why would you want to carry a tomahawk every day? Uh, my response to that is, why not? Uh, a, a tomahawk is an ax, it's just a light ax. And an ax has so many advantages in combatives. As a self-defense blade, you can't beat it as far as practicality for everyday carry and potency. Like, we, we are not in a, a society where you can walk around openly carrying a sword um, or a larger axe. Yet you need to be discreet with your weapons and these tomahawks are designed for ergonomic concealed carry. I'm wearing two tomahawks on me right now. I'm very comfortable. Uh, all our tomahawks go through that rigorous design process to be easy to carry. And if you can carry it, the advantage is simple. You have a, a long stick and you have the weapon side, the blade, at maximum reach. So when with arm motion alone, if you strike an opponent anywhere on their body, a flesh and bone target, this blade is gonna get buried in there. It doesn't matter if it's a bronze blade, a tool steel blade, it's concentrated enough that it's gonna bury in there. Um, and knives can't always do that. You need an enormous knife. I mean, a knife this big and heavy to cleave through someone's head reliably. Uh, this tomahawk will have no problem doing that. If you hit someone in the head, it's instant incapacitation. Um, you know, knives, you know, you're typically, you're relying on exsanguination, you know, stabbing someone multiple times in the thorax. And it's like, that's long time for that to work, for the target, for the threat to be put down versus targeting the brain with the chopping blade. Um, and yeah, that's the big deal for axes. Uh, but most people's experience with tomahawks, they think of these things. Yeah, cold steel, Lynn Thompson wearing the shorts, clobbering some giant dead pig. Um, yeah, these things are huge. You're not going to be able to everyday carry these things. Um, they also weigh a lot. Both of these are uh, some of the lightest tomahawks that cold steel was making. I don't think cold steel is making the Vietnam one anymore, but uh, these weigh about 20 ounces. And yeah, that gets really heavy. Uh, when you want to do a chop, you got to wind up a lot in the chop, which telegraphs what you're doing and gives your opponent time to respond, to deflect, to block, or just to close in on you. Um, so when we designed our tomahawks, we did a lot, starting with these cold steel tomahawks made in Taiwan, we did a lot of chop and mod and um, got the weights really low. You know, back in 2016, I worked really hard, you know, studying how to make tomahawks for everyday carry. And eventually, with all the mods we did, uh, we learned a lot in those modifications, but we found that nothing was practical for everyday carry, and we had to start designing tomahawks on our own. And that's what eventually led to the back ripper tomahawk. Um, but I've been carrying tomahawks, uh, attempting to carry tomahawks everyday carry since 2007. And that actually started with the American Tomahawk Company's Lagana VTAC Tomahawk. It was very similar in shape and design to this. It featured a synthetic hollow slippery handle. It weighed 16 ounces, and that was still too sluggish in the hand. Uh, this was the carry system it came in, which weighed six ounces. It was enormous and practical for uh, everyday carry. I had to get like a custom shoulder holster made so you could put it under your arm. And it was just massive and I injured myself and other things. You know, I, I tried that thing out for like six months. It was just agony wearing it, but I was stubborn. You know, I wanted that Tomahawk concept to work. Um, but 
But fast forward to 2016, that's when we started doing these design studies and research into historical tomahawks. And that's when we realized that there was a big market gap. Uh, the capabilities of spike tomahawks that Native Americans had back in you know, uh, the French Indian War era, that sort of thing, uh, those tomahawks were incredibly light. They weighed eight to 10 ounces on average. Some of them were as light as you know, under five ounces. It was incredible. Um, so really those tomahawks, you would have an ax that weighed the same or less than a knife, like a big folding knife. Uh, and that's what we designed our tomahawks to do. They're axes that weigh the same as a knife, um, and they are lightning fast. Yeah, our cat is interrupting the YouTube video. Look at that. Um, we're very professional here. Like I said, you're a special person. You're one of 12 people watching it. So that's why you carry a tomahawk for everyday carry. Um, it's an ax that you can fit on your body easily. You know, I got one here. I got one in my pants here. So, um, really practical, easier to carry than a lot of these big folding knives that take up precious pocket space um, and a lot of options. They do the job of like utility, everyday utility cuts. They do more than most knives will do in chopping. Uh, and of course, the self defense are very potent. I guess that's all the po points I got to make today. Um, and we're going to try committing doing these videos like, you know, bi-weekly. Uh, maybe they'll get better, hopefully. Maybe they'll feature one of our cats. I don't know. The cats are so poorly behaved, they probably want to sit still. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, share it to, you know, with a friend. Maybe 13 or 14 people will watch this. Be edgy.